Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video today I will be traveling from Geneva Airport to Zurich Airport on both airplane and train we, and we are going to compare the two transport methods in different aspects. For your reference the air distance between Geneva Airport and Zurich Airport is roughly 230 kilometers. So here are the aspects which we are going to compare together. First, the travel time, second, the price, third, the comfort, fourth, the convenience, and fifth, the value for money. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. So first, we come to the point-to-point -point travel time. The point-to-point -point travel time from Geneva to Zurich by airplane is 35 minutes. However, this varies a lot depending on weather conditions between 30 and 45 minutes. In the meantime, the point-to-point -point travel time by train is 3 hours and 19 minutes, giving a clear advantage to the airplane. However, for reasons that we will see later in the convenience part, the plane is not as fast as you might think. It's actually quite more than 35 minutes, but I will show you that later why. Now we come to the prices. There's only one airline which sells tickets between Geneva and Zurich and it's Swiss International Airlines. A one-way ticket price costs per adult 102 Swiss francs 95. On the other hand, the ticket price by train is shockingly expensive. Despite it being a train, the ticket price one way from Geneva Airport to Zurich Airport is an astonishing 101 franc one way per adult person. This makes the fare difference between train and airplane less than 2 francs, which is astonishing. I've never seen something like this anywhere else before. However, you can pre-purchase a so-called Saver Day Pass, which is valid for entire Switzerland and cost around 65 Swiss franc. However, you must purchase very early and it's only very limited number available. So I will let the normal price of 101 francs count. Comfort-wise, the seats on the Swiss Airbus A220, which is the aircraft type mostly used between Geneva and Zurich, are fairly comfortable, have enough legroom and are very good comfort for these 35 minutes. They can recline and are at very good seats. While the comfort on the train is mostly pretty good as well because the trains used mostly on this route are the SBB twin decks double decker trains. The comfort is quite good as well though I would say the plane seats are of course a bit more comfortable because it's an airplane after all. So now we come to the convenience part. As I already mentioned earlier, despite the flight time being significantly shorter than the travel time by train, the plane is still pretty slow it's because of some aspects. First of all, when you get to the airport, you must pass a security check, which at Geneva airport takes roughly 30 minutes. Then. For safety reasons in general, you must be at the airport around one hour at latest before the flight. So a total first must be one hour earlier than the departure at the airport. And then we must um, pass the security and then fly and then land in Zurich. And when you exit the airport, total time is also almost three hours. As a result, the plane is a bit faster than the train, but just a very little bit. The train takes three hours and 90 minutes, but the airplane it's around uh, 2 hours and 50 or 3 hours in total, including this security check and so on. Adding all these checks and so on makes the plane actually pretty inconvenient in comparison to the train. Because of the train, you just get on and you ride the train from the beginning to the end destination. 
However, on the plane is so many obstacles and you must buy a ticket in advance, you must online check in, you risk getting dumped if uh, there is priority passenger or staff passenger flying. As a result, for such a short route, actually the train is pretty much more convenient. Let's have a look at our last aspect before we conclude this video. And now to the last category is the value for money. Now, this category can be understood in multiple different ways. However, um, it's for me it's quite clear here that the train has a better value for money. Let me tell you why. The flight cost 102 francs 95, but this 102 francs 95 just for this short value of time. The only thing you do get is this chocolate here and the water, which if I want I can get at my supermarket for less than 3 francs. Meanwhile, coming back to the train, you might remember the price segment where there is the ticket and yes it is pretty expensive for it being a train however if you just pay one franc more you might have noticed this city ticket right underneath this ticket allows you to travel at your departure and destination city at the same day for 24 hours in that city on all the public transport including tram bus so it's this Despite this heavy price, it has a very good amount for money because you can travel in both Geneva and Zurich on the same day for 24 hours in the city center on trams and buses, which is pretty, pretty good. And the winner is the train. Thank you everyone so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe, which I really appreciate. This is my first such video of comparison and there will be many more transport method comparison. Soon I will also compare railways of countries and as well as airline comparisons. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.